Hey, it's me, Bob 3 and welcome back to my Let's Play of Sonic Adventure DX and we're starting Amy's story. That's just probably one animation that uh, Sega's gonna make, a uh, remake, if they decide to remake uh, Sonic Adventure. Uh, Amy's story is, uh, well, pretty much cutscenes, and this is gameplay, as you're gonna see, uh, this is a, uh, three-part story. I just hey, saw that the, um, what's going on here? The, Is there they made a little reference to, uh, I guess Nobody it was Sonic CD. Again, assuming this game has continuity. Hmm. Even though the cutscene has, you know, obviously aged, I still think it looks pretty fine, probably the best looking part of the game in general. Anyways, back to more story. Now the cutscenes in um, Amy's story is pretty funny because of um, how badly animated it is. Like watch this. You know she hides in there and apparently he doesn't <laughs> see her or even think about uh, going inside the building. That was one of Eggman's robots, huh? He must have captured. I'm sure if uh, that scene was animated better. It would probably make more sense that the robot uh, wouldn't see her, but then again, gameplay-wise, uh, that robot is not pretty smart, so maybe that was um, intentional on their part. Anyways, this is Amy. Uh, she's pretty slow. Uh, has a hammer attack, and that's pretty much it. Uh, there's one more thing she could do, but... Uh, we won't show that off until the uh, until we get to the the actual first stage of the game. Now, Amy feels pretty awkward to control. Uh, she also has this uh, oh, this Queen the Rabbit over there, but uh, but she also has this um, hammer thing. Uh, you know, I uh, to call try to. Uh, feed uh, Amy's gaming addiction, I guess. Uh, no, she's not going inside a casino. Instead, oh, <sighs> My hero. so yeah, Amy's story pretty much begins in the middle of Sonic's story. Or oh, what right about there in that general area? No 
So pretty much what we gotta do next is uh, go back to where we were a few seconds ago. Then you see Sonic across from that building. Once we turn the camera, and there he is. Wait up, Sonic! Not fair! I can't run as fast as you. Figure out where to go is a lot easier once you uh, play Sonic Story and. Maybe some of the other characters as well. Yeah, if you remember the story pretty well, that is. That's just a question mark, Amy. Now for some reason they have different dialogues for um, each story. I'm, I'm pretty sure Sonic says something uh, else. I don't know. Like the one part they probably could have reused uh, voice clips would probably have been uh, this part over here. Okay, pretty much. Uh, Amy's stage is to get away from that robot and reach uh, the end. Uh, sometimes you gotta uh, solve little puzzles here. And well, uh, as you saw there, I completely missed that uh, dead one. Uh, well, my first playthrough, I didn't really see it. Uh, got a little bit greedy, got blown up there. Uh, you can attack the robot, but at some point the um, robot will become invincible if you attack him too much. So, uh, but uh, you can outrun him pretty easily, especially when um, Amy, even if Amy's um, pretty slow. Uh, I wouldn't bother attacking, even though I'm gonna uh, show that part off. Uh, Maybe not a lot, but, uh, well, definitely more than once. But, uh, attacking enemies is for the most part, uh, not necessary. And pretty much, uh, uh she also got, like, a little bit of platforming somewhat. But, uh, but this is pretty much, uh, Amy's, uh, gameplay versus probably the weakest of all the Sonic story and that's including Big as well. I mean yeah Big may not be uh... Well what's... Well Big's uh, gameplay should belong in a um, Sonic game. In most people's opinion including myself. Uh, at least his mechanic work uh, mostly well. But uh, Amy's uh... I mean, when you go up here, she moves pretty slow, and I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure why, especially when Big the Cat moves a lot faster than her. Like I know this is a um, escape the um, enemy kind of um, mission kind of gameplay, and they probably want to uh, scare her back, so so it can make it a bit more challenging, but. It's really more frustrating, especially when you have to use this mechanic to travel around the herb world, and that becomes very really annoying in the um, jungle area. Uh, there's another ability that Amy can do. Uh, pretty much you can hide. <laughs> you can move around and he won't bother you. Nope, he can still hit you. Like, I never really use that stealth uh, because uh, it's not really necessary. 
Like you could beat any story uh, pretty easily without uh, that stealth. Again, we really like the music in this um, level. And that's uh, pretty much how you escape uh, that robot. I'm free. Oh yeah, the robot's name is Zero. Not like E Zero or anything like that, just Zero. I'm assuming it's um, short for E Zero since uh, Gamma and um, later on in the series Omega. Or has that that E uh, number series? Hmm. Yeah, I think during this time, Sonic is in City Escape. I mean, not City Escape, uh, Speed Hardway. And Amy get captured anyway, so pretty much that whole stage was completely pointless. Pretty much, uh, oh, I didn't show that part where uh, the robot flies off. Or am I just thinking of the um, Sonic X episode? Now, now, calm down. No, I'm pretty sure it was part of Sonic's story where the robot flies off to Edman um, Carrier. Uh, speaking of one of the E Series robots, there's a uh, Gamma. Again, this is mostly just cussing, so I'm gonna let the uh, footage do all the talking. What do you want? Don't worry, that dialogue will change uh, in Gamma's story. Didn't that little bear have his own like uh, Sega game? Uh, I want to say on either the Genesis Game Gear. Yeah, that's a quick change of mind. Uh, that would make sense once uh, you play Gamma Story, but right now it's just kind of confusing. I can't make that obvious Zelda reference.
Alright, Dusty, in a disc part, see you next time.